Watch you guys and welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemanated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and it is shit game time again. And this time I'm doing Last Action Hero, which has been requested by YouTuber Ray C. Thank you very much for your request, mate. I hope you're doing okay and I hope you enjoy this review. And he wants me to slam this into the vault of shitness forever. This is obviously uh, a tie-in of the movie, which was an okay film. It was one of Schwarzenegger's kind of kid comedy uh, films. One of it, it certainly wasn't one of his uh, action hero, smash you in the face as soon as you look at you type of films. This was more of a kind of a family film. I remember seeing it, and it was it was pretty fun. I definitely remember the clip where they go into the movie uh, rent shop and they see. Uh, Stallone sitting on the bike and doing as if he was the Terminator ter on Terminator 2 poster instead of Schwarzenegger it was Stallone so that was quite comical I think that was a little um, uh, nod and a little piss take from Schwarzenegger to Stallone by that time of uh, their era 94 they were pretty good friends they got over all that bloody um, you know doing a better film than any other that kind of crap but here we go it's another game by Cygnosis in 1994 and you're going to pick up if you can hear that that's my original Amiga 500 drive kicking this in. Um, so you're going to hear a lot of loading times. Grind, grind, grind. Horrible. That's not my drive. That's a crack copy. Um, yeah, it's like Cygnosis have completely given up the Amiga Ghost by 1994. I don't know why they kept releasing games. This was an amazing label for the time in late 80s. They, they were the ones that came out with Shadow of the Beast for Christ's sake. You had Agony. So many other games with you know a barbarian with with nice graphics but uh, all right it's usually i think Cygnosis was known for very nice graphics but pretty questionable game play but this is terrible again i've just come off the back of a recent shit game time about two weeks ago i think it was maybe three where i did um another it was a stallone tie-in by Cygnosis 1994 and it was cliffhanger and that was absolute fucking shite shockingly bad and this again, it's like um, Cygnos is completely given up. They want to uh, concentrate on the upcoming PlayStation. And these games, Cliffhanger and, let's get this started, Cliffhanger and Last Action Hero, just looks like they've ported it for some crappy NES or SNES game. Very SNESy style graphics in this. It's not, it doesn't look like it's been created for the Amiga at all. It's like a port of a shit game. Remember Paperboy 2? Why that saw light of down the Amiga is beyond me. That is also in the shit game time section if you'd like to take, check that out. But this, um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a joke. Um, yeah, see the old Amiga drive. That's definitely not my Amiga drive knackered. But look at this, look. Slow Schwarzenegger. Let's try and get some moves. Oh, that's a good move straight away. But bloody both sides ridiculous come on right so he punches quite quickly action boom 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 he's, he's moving you know his moves are quite quick come on where are you come on oh <laughs> but check this out as soon as I start moving am I dead already I haven't got past the first fucking screen look fast it's quite fast that is but now once we come on where are you going come on oh I can do a spinning kick look look, look at this oh, do I have to do I have to get into a fight all right just so slow look at that he's a oh it's got the same it's like the same feeling of final fight you just can't you get cornered and you're screwed He's too busy doing a combination, and you, you know, the combination takes too long, and you can't let go if you want to face somebody uh, on the other side of you. It's just slow. Look at look at, look at the speed Schwarzenegger's moving. So I've just got out of bed. Look, I've taken a shitload of tramadol. Can't be asked. 
Do I have to beat up somebody? Oh, here we go again. Well, if I must. God. I mean, once he starts kicking and punching, that's quite crazy. Who is this bitch? She's quite fucking hard, isn't she? She won't die. Will you go? But, oh, here we go again. I suppose it's another screen we have to fight. So, all right, God. Things I have to do to get my money in my film. Dead. See, once they get on both sides of you, you can't. It's got the fucking final fight syndrome. And these combinations take too long. By the time you got through your combination and turned around. Oh, finally. See, you, you can't. And she's backing off. Come on. Or he, or God knows what you are. You're a freak. Oh, here I go again. Do I, I just want to go to the shop and can't be bothered with all this. Oh, I'm never going to pass all four, am I? God. Well, it is better than bloody cliffhanger, I will say that. And let's face it, most of Schwart uh, Schwarzenegger's games were crap. He got a pretty bum deal when it comes to computer games. Stallone's were much better. Uh, Rambo 3 and Amiga was okay. It certainly was good on the Mega Drive. It had a good arcade game as well, Rambo 3. But most of Schwarzenegger's games, I mean, you check out... Uh, running man on the Amiga or any of the home computers. Fuck me, that's dreadful. Again, on the shit game time section, I think I did the Commodore 64 and Amiga version. Oh, look at this lot. How am I going to get past this lot? Or you can do it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it looks like he's trying to get down to the heavy metal. <laughs> what sort of move is that? Will you piss off, you bitch? See, look, you can't get through your combination. It takes too long. Look, that's fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. You, oh, you just can't... Alright, we'll continue. See what happens. Is it going to give me a cliffhanger continue? In other words, you click to continue, but you actually start from screen one, level one, and it looks as if I'm going to do that again, isn't it? Continue means from where you left off, not from the fucking start of the first level again. That's not continuing, that's just starting all over again. That's exactly what they did on cliffhanger on the Amiga and all the other eight bits, uh, ST as well. I think it came out on the ST, but... Fuck me, Cygnosis. What were you thinking? You had quite a, you know, a reputation. Mainly of good graphics and NAF gameplay, I suppose. Look, but 94, what are you thinking? Look at it. Slow. I've got to get up out of bed again. Oh, I can't bother. So just, look, see what I mean? That's just bollocks. What? Look at this. <laughs> There's two frames there. <laughs> it's like, rock on, man. <laughs> Oh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Boy, I had, uh, <laughs> it's like, oh, what was that? I don't know what I did there. <laughs> it's like he's got two heads when he does that. Oh, I did it again. How the hell? How did I do that move then? I mean, look at that. <laughs> it looks like he's got two heads. And here we go again. The tramadol's kicked in. Slow. Boring. See, uh, it's just fucking stupid. Look at that. It's, it's too slow. He doesn't walk fast enough. You get into the middle of a combination. It takes about 18 hits before he finishes a combination. And by then, somebody on the other side of you kicked the shit out of you. Fucking stupid. A shitty looking SNES port of something this is. Crap, loads of shitty games like this on the snares that I've played, beat em ups like this, just naff. And this is basically what this is. It's like it's not an Amiga original, it's just a port of some fucking shitty console game. Oh, just, oh, here we go again. Oh, oh yeah, you tried to do it again, didn't you? Time. Come on, look at you backing off, you chicken shit bitch, come on. Tap me from behind, so here we go, I get the combination going. It takes half hour to get through it. Come on, there he is. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And now finally I can turn around and she's already nailed me. Bloody stupid. I don't know what the hell I'm <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, rock on, man. Check out this in-game music. Well, I've never played this back in there. I'm surprised I didn't. But I think by 94, I wasn't collecting any more Mega games. I... I kept all my stuff, but I think I retired from my Amiga pretty much in 93 when Q 
Chaos Engine came out. Well, actually, that's a lie. I did buy Chaos Engine 2 original, and that came out in 96. But I certainly wasn't in the pirate scene like I was in the late 80s. And forward 15 years later, I get back heavily back into it again, my media. So this went over the radar. By 94, there wasn't many uh, people you could swap games with. See, the combinations are too long. It takes too long. Come on then. <laughs> That's a stupid move. I can't tell if he's trying to headbutt or uppercut. <laughs> it's a fucking ridiculous move. That's the most laughable move I've ever seen. And look at this. I still can't piss off. And you, come on, you freaks. Come on, back off. You do something. Oh, he's still alive. Right. And now it's a case of, oh, here we go again. Moving slug. Oh, you look a big lug. Yeah, what a surprise. I knew that was going to happen. See, it's just ridiculous. You just can't get through your combo. The combo's too big. Look, they're backing off. They're chicken shit. This is fucking stupid. What a crap. Oh, I just can't move quick enough. It's ridiculous. It, this literally is like Final Fight on the Amiga. It's crap. You get cornered. You get surrounded. You can't get out of it. One more go. Don't give me that bullshit about continuing. That's fucking bullshit. Um, I have actually put the cheat code on as far as a level skip. So maybe let's have a look at level two if if my level skip works. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I think. Um, it looked promising in stills. It was you know it's a big screen, good play area. And you think you're onto something here, but fuck me, does he move slow? It's like. He's got this presence of, do I have to fight? I can't be fucking bothered. I'm hungover. I've had a box of tramadol. I just want to chill the fuck out and I've got to do this shit. Hang on. I don't think I can. No, I haven't. No, I haven't got the... Yeah, I can't. Oh, I've pressed the mouse button. Let's see if that's done anything. I can't remember if I actually uh, put the cheat code on. Because this is a crack trainer version. Look what it's distant to what it's doing. Oh, I'll get to the boss. Let's try the boss then. God, it's grinding my Amiga drive. Terrible, some of these crack versions. My poor Amiga. 32 years I've had this Amiga, and not once has it gone into the shop for repair. So we've got a boss now. What the? Come on, man, let's get down with it. <laughs> it's slaughtered me. How'd you... Oh, what? <laughs> I beat him like that, did I? Come on then. Where's he gone? I'm just gonna beat him like that. That's ridiculous. And <laughs> I headbutted him. Come on. Oh! Come on, let me beat him. Let me beat him. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. What a stupid move. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, you know you want some. <laughs> uh. Oh, he's taking another life from me. I'll get him. Is that it? Have I killed him? Come on, one more. That's it, I think I've had him. Yay, level ball. Oh, he was easy. Unbelievable. I'll be back. Oh dear. So yes, who was it coded by? Paul Carpenter. Graphics by Roy Stewart. Oh, she don't look very nice, does she? You're late for work. Explain yourself. Good fuck you, you big titted bitch. Um, and musician Mike Clark. So there you go. Three guys, name and shame. 1994 Signosis, developed by the Dome. The Dud, more like it. Oh dear, oh dear. Haven't seen any good reviews of this at all. I've looked on some of the forums, including Amiga Lemon, and uh, it's ranked as a turd, no doubt about that. So here we go. Uh, oh, I suppose this is the streets, is it? I don't know. Oh, I was hoping for some different... Sure, you've got some different enemies. 
Oh, there's one. Can you... Oh! He smacked me a good one, didn't he? Can you... Get these boxes... Can we... Look at that! He's half slapping the shit out of me, this guy, isn't he? Oh, come on! Look at all that energy he's taking off me. Too long. The combination's too long. It takes too long. Jesus. Oh. No, oh, I'm fucked. That's it. I'm dead. Oh, Ray, I can't play this anymore, mate. This is bloody ridiculous. Um, continue on. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, once again skip to the boss, see what this boss is like, and then um, see what the next level's like. Um, just for an added bonus. But, uh, yeah, I mean, will I play this all the way through? No, I fucking won't. I was hoping it would play a lot better. But, as you can see, it's got the Final Fight Syndrome. Once you're down on the floor or cornered, you can't hardly get up. It's too busy doing your combinations and you can't... Uh, look, listen to this thing's chewing my Amiga drive up. God! Right, mouse button. Mouse button, there we go. So we go to the boss. Any of you have the, ever have the crack version of Hybris? By, I think it was by Cortex who cracked it. If you had that, you'll know what I mean by about Amiga Drive killing. I mean, that was a real grinder, for fuck's sake. It is awful. The original, which I have, doesn't do that. It's quiet as a mouse. But it's like, these are crackers, the pirates that, that do this. They shouldn't do this to the Amiga Drive. Whatever they're doing while they crack the games, um, it's terrible. Because I know originals don't make that much noise. So here we go. What are you like then, missus? Oh, at least, a. Hey? What happened to you? Are well, you chickened out? You're sending me your bloody henchman, is that it? Again, moves take too long. Duh, I'm so slow. Can't bother, you know. I just want to go home. I want to go home, sit on the couch, watch endless repeats of programs I don't even like because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Oh, this is fucking terrible. Look at that. That's about three frames. Kick him in the bollocks. <laughs> come on, you. It's you I want, bitch. Come on. Stop chicken out of fights. Oh! Come on. Oh, I can't bother to skip to the next level. We'll just see this level, and that's it. I'm not playing anymore. This is I'll cack. Um, and I don't like what it's doing to my Amiga drive. I'm not happy about that at all. So here we go. Oh, this two. Uh, here we go. Level three. House brawls. Help, help. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Even on my second drive, it's grinding a little bit. It's definitely a crappy, bloody crack. No doubt about that. But yeah, Schwarzenegger has unfortunately done it again as far as his movie times. Another shite game. I don't recall any game that, uh, of a movie of Schwarzenegger's. That's good. What are we in a dining hall? Oh, right, he's a big boy, isn't he? Oh, he's just such a slug, isn't he? Look at the way he's walking. It's terrible. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! Uh, uh, come on. And I hate it the way they back off as well. It's just annoying. Come on, it just takes up too much time. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Come on, gutless. You're big, but you're dumb. Right, that's you done. Definitely done now. Just look at his arm, the way it's drooping. It's like he really is on some kind of sleeping drug. He's drunk too much night nurse. Look at this. Mm, so sluggy. Look, it's just so... Uh, whatever, yeah. I'm drugged out. can't bother. I've had a bottle of whiskey, a box of Tramadol, and I can't be fucked. 
and I'm depressed because I'm in another shitty movie tying game. No one does any good games of me. Stallone gets all the luck. He gets the good Rambo 2 on the Commodore 64. He gets a good Rambo 3 on the Mega Drive. I get nothing. I get likes of fucking uh, Running Man and I ain't happy about that. Fuck this. I cannot be bothered with it anymore. It's crap. The music's shit too. It's trying to do some kind of heavy metal rock vibe. Especially on level 1. But it doesn't work. It's crap. Looks good in stills. It's promising. But the moment it starts moving, it's cack. It's like... It really is a port of some shitty SNES game. Um, it's crap. It's just like Cliffhanger. Come out the same year by Signoses. Now, how about that? What a coincidence. Ray, congratulations, mate. You picked another good dud. Um, I don't know what the price was of this. Let me have a look. Let's see. Um, uh, it's got, it's got to be up there, bloody 1990 something, isn't it? Same as flipping. Um, uh, last Action Hero. I bet it's got a 20 quid. I'm going to go for a 19... It's either 1995 or 2495 price tag, which is fucking ridiculous. I wouldn't even pay 799 for this. Um, in fact, I wouldn't waste my bloody blank discs on it. You know what I mean? It's, it's cack. You'd have to pay me to buy this. Shit, mate. So, well done, Ray. Yeah, it's fucking crap. 94. All right, it's Amiga's... Amiga's twilight year it really is the final year nail in the coffin of the Amiga but this is no excuse utterly shite no enjoyment moves as if he's drugged out of hell and depressed at the same time um, and it's ruining my fucking drives but that's a crack version for you I, I can't see the original making that much grinding noise but if any of you have bought this then oh dear oh dear um, you got suckered didn't you all of it you got suckered if you bought this kike so what am I going to do? What am I going to give this on the shit o meter? The shit o meter. What am I going to give it? Um, well, um, it uses a full screen almost. You know, if you include the um, the enemy energy at the bottom. Apart from that, um, it's crap. It's just literally like a, a, a SNES port, a crappy SNES port of the game. It's, it's garbage. I don't know if it came out on a SNES. It probably did. I can't bother to looking because I don't get that time back in my life. It's cack. Uh, yeah, Arnold, as I said, moves as if he can't be bothered. You get stuck in corners and on both sides, just like Final Fire and Amiga. It's cack. I'm going to give it a great big fat... I'm going to give that 92 shits on the shitometer. For Last Action Hero on the Amiga 500. Thank you very much, Ray C, for your paid request. Well deserved, mate. Yes, I can understand why you've requested this. Awful, utterly awful. Right, there you go. That's this edition of Shit Game Time. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, just to bring something up very quickly, I know uh, some, uh, quite a few of you have liked requesting games and so forth, um, but just let me remind you, I've changed slightly about the Amiga. If you do, a, if you do choose an Amiga game to want to put in the shit game time section, please make sure the game is no more than three discs. Um, you know, five pound for a request is one thing, but you know, the last thing I need is someone requesting Rise of the Robots, which is ten fucking discs. You know, and I'm still only getting paid five pound for it. It's ridiculous. I have to send away for the discs. They take time. It costs me money for postage to get the discs to do these shit game times for Amiga. All the other systems are fine, like the Commodore, the Spectrum, the Amstrad, the um, Mega Drive, the uh, Master System, Super Nintendo. Not a problem. But the Amiga, I have to send away to get the crack copies, and that costs me postage. And when it's 10 discs as well, uh, fuck that. So, I mean, if you want me to do Rise of the Robots, anyone, I want £25 for that shit game time. So apart from that, um, all shit game times, as I said, are £5. You get a shout out on your channel, uh, for your channel as well, and who you are, that kind of thing. And you get relief for a game that really caused you distress, or a game you think was crud and you got screwed out of your money, be placed in the vault of shit, and it's flushed down the bog by Zeus in the shit game time section. Um, so yes, it's for the Amiga, no more than three discs per game. So you can choose as many games as you want, but make sure those games do not contain more than three discs. Otherwise, it's just um, it's, it's a lot of hard work, and it's not worth my time and postage to get the discs. All right, thank you again anyway for joining me on this shit game time. Please leave your thoughts below about this video and about what you think of this game. I'm always intrigued to hear what other people think about it. I can't see there being anyone positive. 
saying anything positive about it at all, but you know, the world nowadays doesn't shock me anymore. Nothing surprises me anymore. There's been times I've wanted to stop the world so I could step off it because it's gone that crazy. Right, that's it for me. Until next time, thank you very much for joining me on this edition of Shit Game Time. Until next time, Zeus out of Plopville. <laughs>